Hey guys, welcome back to part six of working on my John Deere B. In this video here, I'm going to attempt to get this head taken completely off. <clears throat> As you saw in my last video, I've got it separated here from the block. And um, I've been kind of kicking around here some different ideas. To get lowered down through the bottom and to try and get it out of there. I actually just started the forklift up. I had thought about sending it down or trying to get it down on that floor jack and lowering it down that way. However, what I may end up doing is backing this tractor down off the concrete. That way I can come over top of it here at the forklift and tie a chain some way around here to actually help steady, steady it better. And then lower it down that way, get it out here and then try and get it worked down through that hole between the frame reels. So we'll just have to see what works out here, try and get that dumb thing dropped out. And so like I said, trying to get that dry shaft out of there is easier said than done. Either got to jerk the radiator out and take the whole thing that way or split the tractor. And um, so what I may end up doing is taking a couple chains and running around here and hook, like I say, hook the forklift and try and get this thing dropped down. All right, I've got the B pulled down off the concrete. Well, the back wheels anyway. Let the front wheels sit there. It makes it easier to roll it back on. Because what I do, I just get behind it with the forklift and um, push the forks as wide as they'll go, then come up underneath each axle and just pick the whole back end up and shove it back up on the concrete. But I got it brought up here. I've got to get some chain and get wrapped around this head and hook the forklift. And then we'll see about trying to get this head pried off the stud bolts. All right, I got a chain here. Got it fed down between the back, between the block and the head. I'm going to take and run this back up <clears throat> and tie that right there. I want just a little bit of looseness for a little bit of give. Get that wrapped around. Hey, that should work. Okay, I want to take and put just a little bit of pressure up against that. That way it can't go anywhere. I also grabbed me a couple a little bit longer pry bars. A little extra leverage definitely makes a difference. <clears throat> now let's see what we can do here. Just got to keep basically working each side. Try to stick that down in there. Pry against the bottom of the thing. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll bring you back in here just before I get the thing dropped off in stud bolts that we can see more. All right, the head is right at the end of these stud bolts and I can wiggle it up and down pretty good let's see if we can get it walked off there without smashing a finger
it doesn't have that much further to go. It's basically, it's clear out on the threaded part of the stud. It's just barely holding on. Ah, oh, boy. Well, it's wiggling up and down. Yes, that's still not enough. Gonna have to keep working on it. Kind of odd it's going this hard though. I know on um on the other tractors I've pulled heads off on, they pop off pretty easy. Okay, I do go, I do have a little bit of tension on that chain. Maybe just a fraction too much. Just, I'll take and bump that down. Yep. <laughs> Got to wash. Don't get down too far. Just keep playing with it. <laughs> Getting closer. Okay, now I can see the threads. So it's just on the end. fight with the stupid thing. Okay, well coming over the, over those threads, it's it's pulled the head gasket off the head. And that side over there I can see I am off. There's the end of the stud. Taking, lowering down just a fraction. There we go. Don't want to go much because I don't want the one to just drop. Hey, there we go. I thought anyway. Okay, well, the head is off. You can see all the bolts down there. Thing that's holding it up is that gasket is stuck. The holes in the gasket are stuck on the threads of those studs. It doesn't want to move. All right, well, it took a little bit of hassle, but I got that head gasket out of there. Had to keep smacking on it and prying it. Like I say, it was getting hung up on the threads, on them stud bolts. So I got, I got it worked off. I actually was able to get the gasket out from behind that chain. So I've got that head turned and I wasn't sure how well and I keep smacking my phone on this chain but I wasn't sure how well it was going to fit down through that uh, frame I think I got, I got enough room so let's see what happens here hey there we go
Okay, so far so good. Got a piece of plywood underneath here to set it on. I'm hoping I got that chain extended out long enough to reach the ground. I think I do. Hey, there we go. Now we're dropping out the bottom. Okay, it's catching here on that air intake. Once I get it on the ground, I'll grab, I'll take the phone off my headset and show you what the inside looks like. There we go. All right, I'm just going to set that right there for right now. Let me take y'all off the top of my head. Okay, there's what the inside of the cylinders look like. Thankfully, I don't see a bunch of rust or anything like that. I do see a little bit of black junk. And, um, My guess says they're just stuck, and so I'm going to take a little bit of that sea foam deep creep and um, soak them all down good, and we'll see what happens. So right there's the head on the ground. Right there's the underside, the two val the valves, and the everything. So. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to call that an end here to part six. And um, so, yeah, I'll be bringing, bringing you along here as I keep working on different things. But uh, next step is to, I'm going to take and put the rocker arm assembly back onto that. Shut that forklift off, that way I don't have to keep talking over it. I'm going to remount the rocker arm assembly and um, put the valve cover back onto it and I'll take it to that guy like that, that way he can go through everything. Clean it all because he's got one of those big hot washers that he puts stuff into. Clean it all out, check it all out, go through the valves, all that kind of stuff, valve spring guides, the, the works, just have him, have him redo the head. On that uh, exhaust manifold, I'll probably have him put new bolts in that thing. I figure let him fight getting them things out because he's got the tools to do it. I don't. As far as the manifold itself goes, it's actually good. And so I'm just going to have him put new bolts into it. And like I say, thankfully, from what I'm seeing inside those jugs, I'm not seeing a lot of rust. And so my guess is... It just hung up a little bit because it sat so long. But like I say, it looks pretty clean for the most part, considering. And so, I'll just have to keep working on it and see what happens. So, take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.